historians agree that, in fact, the modern-day hospital originated in the Islamic world. There is a good account of this in Aramco World magazine entitled The Islamic Roots of the Modern Hospital, which is easily found online and which all medical professionals, I think, ought to read. The article begins with a quote from the Waqfiyah, the founding document of the hospital of Sultan Qalawun. The hospital shall keep all patients, men and women, until they are completely recovered. All costs are to be borne by the hospital, whether the people come from afar or near, whether they are residents or foreigners, strong or weak, low or high, rich or poor, employed or unemployed, blind or sighted, physically or mentally ill, learned or illiterate. There are no conditions of consideration and payment. None is objected to or even indirectly hinted at for non-payment. The entire service is through the magnificence of God, Allah, the generous. The hospital then, the Dar al-Shifa or Bimaristan, is one of Islam's gifts to the West, emerging from a culture in which compassion but also medical professionalism were highly valued. So much overlap and commonality between the influencer and the influenced. And yet that culture differed from our own in one key respect. Pre-modern Muslim medics and ulama who thought about contagion assumed a social world in which human expectations from life and dunya were modest. Terrors about death and a love of abundance are more the sunnah of Nimrod and Pharaoh. They are the way of Abu Jahl, not that of the seal of the messengers. As the poets say, they reflect the materialism of the donkey, not of the Jesus who rides it. Our modern attitudes to death are very unrealistic, evasive and stressful. Atheist beliefs, which have themselves spread like a virus thanks to the unclean matter which has accumulated in our hearts, persuade many that clinical death is the end of ourselves. As the Qur'an describes such people, وَقَالُوا مَا هِيَ إِلَّا حَيَاتُنَا الدُّنْيَا نَمُوتُ وَنَحْيَا وَمَا يُهْلِكُنَا إِلَّا الدَّهْرِ this is in Surah al jathia It means, they say, it is only our life of this world. We were dead and we live and only time kills us. Such people are tragically terrified of death. In fact, this forms the major terrorism which dismays humanity in our age, the wicked threat of a meaningless and eternal nothingness. In the old Arabia, the Jahili Arabs had no confidence in life after death. But the man of praise, in his saddest moment of confronting them, was told, The next world shall be better for you than this. 